Good evening, Bat family, and welcome to the Comic Collectors Guild's official YouTube page. My name is Jake. You guys know me as the Batman, and tonight we're going to be doing another statue review. We're going to be checking out the Hal Jordan Green Lantern premium format by Sideshow Collectibles. This one's fresh out the box, so can't wait to dive into this. Before we get started, please check our website out at www.comiccollectorsguild.com. Whether you're in the comics, statues, Funko Pops, we are a community of collectors and we'd love to see your personal collection. Put in the application, we'd love to have you be a part of our family. So check us out again, comiccollectorsguild.com. But without further ado, let's dive into the statue review. Green Lantern, coming up. Brightest day, blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light! Alright guys, so we got Hal Jordan Green Lantern by Sideshow Collectibles. This statue's actually been out for quite some time. Uh, they're currently sold out of this statue here uh, on Sideshow's website, so I personally had to buy this one off of eBay. Uh, I got them actually relatively cheap uh, compared to some of the newer premium formats that are currently on the market. Uh, he is the uh, only Hal Jordan one, I believe, with Sideshow. Currently, they have a John Stewart Green Lantern uh, that looks absolutely fantastic, uh, but personally, Hal is my Green Lantern. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Lantern Corps, whether it's been Hal or Jon Stewart in the Justice League animated show, Guy Gardner in some of the, the Rebirth series, uh, but Hal's always been my personal favorite. This guy is 25 inches tall, so definitely one of the taller premium format statues. Uh, one thing that I noticed, especially from uh, the pictures that I saw online compared to when I got them, uh, the suit is a lot less shiny uh, in person. I know there's like some lighting and and flash on what makes him appear a little more shiny than what he is uh, but it's very dulled down in person which I was very happy to see um, uh, with the pictures it looks a little shiny metallic it's not like that so uh, very very nice um, he's got a um, swappable uh, hand in the exclusive where he's holding his green lantern uh, which is really cool uh, that one was not available for me to purchase so I had to get the regular uh, but he's got his ring here uh, his glove is glowing green a little bit. Um, I like the base. It is very broad for the base, um, but I like his pose. He goes very well with the rest of the Justice League members. Uh, I'm waiting on Aquaman at the end of the month and then Flash here shortly. So almost got the whole league uh, assembled, um, but I'm going to dive into this very closely and review with you guys. At the end, I'm going to be breaking down five Green Lantern graphic novels that I would highly recommend for anybody who wants to read more about this amazing character. But let's dive into the review. Let's get down into the gritty of this statue. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Hal Jordan Green Lantern premium format. Let's dive into this review. As always, let's start with the base. Nice, simple, round base. It is very wide and, and a big base uh, compared to some of the others, but very nice. Uh, this piece here is a magnet that goes right in, so very, very cool. Um, he's got the steps, obviously, that he's making with his will and his ring, which is really nice. Great suit, very comic accurate. As I said, very, a lot less metallic than it looks, um, which I was really happy about. Uh, very good hero pose, you can see there uh, in the ring. Very nice. And then we got the sculpt here. I am gonna have this poster right behind him, so that's gonna be really cool. But great hero pose. Not a lot of pieces, very simple. What I like about this one too, a lot of my premium formats, you have to kind of pose at an angle, but this one, just straight on, which is really nice. Um, goes really well, I can't wait to have Flash and Aquaman uh, next to him. 
As I mentioned before, besides the Superman premium format, this is the tallest of the statues. Um, so that's really cool. Um, he goes in really nicely with the other Justice League members though. Um, he's been around I think a couple years now because when I got him, as I mentioned, he sold out. But the Jon Stewart um, is out right now. Uh, suit's a little different, a lot more of kind of this green. Um, he's got like a cannon. Uh, I personally think this statue looks a little better personally, but if anyone wants to check it out, I'll uh, attach the link to the Jon Stewart one. But that is it, guys. Full breakdown. Hal Jordan coming in looking good. Green Lantern, let me know what you guys think. So that is it, guys. Hal Jordan, Green Lantern. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is Hal Jordan your favorite Green Lantern? Uh, is it Jon Stewart from the Justice League animated series? Uh, maybe even Guy Gardner? Um, please let me know your comments and thoughts about this statue. Um, again, I'll attach the Jon Stewart premium format on Sideshow's website for anyone who wants to purchase that. Um, really, really great statue, though. I can't recommend it enough for anybody who wants to go on eBay or online to purchase this guy right here. Um, uh, another thing, you know, I, as I mentioned, I would like to recommend five graphic novels. Green Lantern has some amazing storylines, um, and these are five that I would definitely recommend. Uh, we're going to start with Green Lantern Blackest Night. Uh, that one is fantastic. Uh, and then we have the Sinestro Corps Wars. Um, very great storyline. Uh, we have Green Lantern Rebirth. Not the Rebirth storyline of the comics with all the other ones, but Green Lantern Rebirth. Uh, we have um, Green Lantern Secret Origin. Uh, and then Green Lantern A New Dawn. A lot of those feature this guy, Hal Jordan, as the Green Lantern. Obviously the Sinestro Corps War has more of the entire Lantern Corps uh, going against Sinestro, who's one of my personal favorite villains. Uh, but that's a good starting point for anybody who wants to learn more about this character. Um, but again, let me know your thoughts. Check us out on our website, www.comiccollectorsguild.com. We're proud affiliates of Sideshow Collectibles as well as GameStop. But please show us your collection. Be a part of our family of collectors, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, stay collecting, friends.